Hello everybody, Mojo Johnson here with the old harmonica. Just give me a little something, something to listen to before I get to talking. Well, I'm not gonna put this nice little spot in the crotch hole. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna do it. That's just too damn suggestive. So I'm gonna leave it over there. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. Ah, man, I ain't got too much to say to you today. Nah, I'm kind of in a bit of a mellow mood. So I thought I'd tell you a couple things about myself and all my travels in the world of Pimp Daddy Dean's traveling show. Or maybe I won't. But I want to tell you some random things. Like, for instance, I once climbed Mount Everest. I did not make it to the top, but I did set foot on it. I took three steps, and I said, done. I'm done with this, baby. So technically, in all technicalities, technical ways, I climbed Mount Everest. I'm a well-traveled son of a gun. Tip my hat to that. But you know, it's, it's kind of the life I like to lead. I like to go places. I like to see people. I like to meet people. That's just the way I am. That's why I roam around New York City occasionally on Halloween nights screaming like a maniac. Well, because I want you to notice me. What could I say? I'm old Joe Johnson. What do you want? But many people have asked me what my favorite movie is of all time. Obviously, The Shawshank Redemption. Does the die? Did you even need to ask? I mean, I love Tim Robbins. And everybody asks what my favorite band of all time is. Well, that's a little more difficult because then I've got like a 20. I think. My biggest, my biggest, uh, uh, what's the word? I, I, wait, I started that all wrong. Let me go backwards. My favorite. Ah, what's the word, man? You know, sometimes old Mojo, he get caught up in all this stuff because of all the drugs and the alcohol and the sleeping pills and the, and the alcohol and the drugs. You know, the 60s was a different time period. You do a lot of stupid things and you can't remember what words you want to say. Uh, allegedly, no, that ain't it. Uh, consequentially, that ain't the word I'm looking for. Substantially, ain't it? But there's a substantial amount of bands that I do enjoy. So what is the, arguably, thank you very much. I would arguably have to say that it's a tie between Mr. Tom Waits and Mr. Muddy Waters. And anywhere between the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, Bob Dylan, and somebody else, I guess. You know, I like all of them. I had a chance to meet quite a few. I got to write a couple songs for Bob Dylan. That was a good time. And uh, he enjoyed my presence. And the thing is, everybody gives all the credit to Mr. Bob Dylan for introducing the Beatles to a certain little weed we call weed or pot or marijuana, whatever you want to call it. But I tell you this, them Beatles wouldn't be smoking nothing if it wasn't for old Mojo smoking up with old Bob Dylan first. Don't forget that, baby. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a fine day. I'm going to take you off with a little more Saint school marching in, if you don't mind. It just, it just is befitting of the, of the attitude of the scene. So here we go. Well, that wasn't exactly it. I screwed up, so I just kept going with it. But you understand me, don't you? <laughs>